Uh, air, try this. Airlines are introducing new technology to keep passengers safe. Dan Springer is live on that story with a very novel idea. Dan. Yeah, Bill, we know that we can learn a lot from a dummy when it comes to car crashes, but how about surviving an airplane crash? After the break, we're going to show you a live test with some dummies here in Phoenix, Arizona, on what's being done to save lives on airplanes. That's coming up. Up until now, airline safety has meant one thing, and that is avoiding a crash. But not anymore. The Federal Aviation Administration is out with new safety standards, and the goal is to make crashes more survivable. New advanced technologies are being put to the test. Dan Springer is live in Phoenix, Arizona, at an airplane crash test center. Dan, I didn't even know they had airplane crash centers. What are we about to see? Well, that's right, Allison. You wouldn't think about it because when we think of airplane crashes, we often think of the catastrophic ones where all 200 or 300 people on board are, are killed. But nine out of 10 crashes are not only survivable, there are no fatalities at all. And so the effort right now with the FAA is undergoing is to increase the number of people who survive in crashes that are serious. So we're at AmSafe, which kind of owns the world's market in airplane seatbelts, and they are doing crash tests to see how we can increase that survivability. And so there are some new federal regulations we'll talk about in a minute, but let's get to the test because we want to show you what's being done to, to increase survivability at 16 Gs that's about 30 miles an hour head-on crash. Let's run the test. All right, Allison, so that was the crash test. Now we're going to come outside and see what happens to these dummies at a 16G or 30 mile an hour head on crash. Now we have two different dummies and they are in what are called a, a stronger 16G seat, okay? So this, these are the new regulation seats. This dummy did not have an airbag. Um, I'm told that he suffered massive head injuries and he was killed upon impact because what, he, what happened is they're simulating what happens in a crash when somebody hits the bulkhead. This is if you're sitting behind the bulkhead. The next guy over, the dummy there, had an airbag deploy. Now, he suffered no injuries at all, and he was completely safe behind the bulkhead with that airbag. So what's happening right now is federal regulations kick in October 27th that require not only the stronger seats, but also on certain seats in an aircraft behind the bulkhead and also the seats that are directly behind the exit rows. Airbags might be on all these planes in the coming years because basically airlines have to comply with these stricter regulations and instead of pulling seats out they'll be able to put airbags in and the airbags are pretty cool because they go right on the seat belt itself and so when they deploy they push out and you go forward in this crash and you hit the airbag. Allison? Dan Springer live for us with an incredible demonstration thank you it just stands to reason it kind of makes you wonder why we haven't had airbags uh, until now thanks Dan. Sure does. Put it on okay. my plane. Mm. All, All right. right. Right away. Make sure that tray is upright. Where it should be. Indeed. I'm watching you. <laughs> a pop star attacked when a crazed fan jumps out.